friends welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is deb and if you're not new hope you're doing well um it is currently almost five o'clock on what's it, september 7th um and i am getting ready for our boat party so it used to be as far as i know it used to be like um, a, an M2 thing, but now they've opened up where there's an M2 party, but then there's also like a M3, M4, M5 boat party, and that's tonight. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup just because I don't know, it's not gonna be anything crazy. Y'all already know me. Um, unfortunately for us, it is very not very cold, but it is, the high today is 61, um, which is not ideal, obviously. <sighs> Had to change my whole plan for what I was gonna wear. Not really, it's just a matter of like adding um, a sweater. Hopefully this is still my shade, I haven't used it in a while. This is the Amicole. Um, skin tint okay no that's pretty good um but i'm wearing my white it's an oh i forgot to tell you the theme it's an all white um party or theme dress code which you know me that is not a problem <laughs> that is not a problem at all i love i love all white parties i mean i love wearing white it's my favorite color as you know um so i had options and i was originally gonna wear the top that i got from vexels or vessels someone corrected me um that i showed in my last video but that is not going to work um or i mean i guess i could still wear it but it would just be covered up by my jacket um and that shirt deserves a moment you know so I'm just going to forego it for now and uh, we'll find some time to wear it when the weather is nice again. I forgot how nice this is. I haven't worn it for quite some time since I've just been using the um, Makeup by Mario conditioner. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Makeup by Mario foundation but this is perfect. It's a really good match. I think this is the second to darkest shade. I forget. Again, I'm not doing anything crazy. Just a little something something. And I know wearing makeup, brown makeup with all white, you need to be brave. <laughs> you need to be committed. Okay, that's good. I'm not... We're not going for full coverage or anything here. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys have been doing well. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I need to update you on. That's really it for now. I think I'm just going to have this part be speed sped over. Ooh, English is not my friend today. I'm going to ramp <laughs> you know what just just enjoy this footage because i don't i don't know what i'm saying
again, light beat. I'm still not sure about the lip. I may darken it a little bit, but let me get dressed and then we'll head over to Jenny's. Okay guys, the lighting is horrible, so sorry about that, but this is the final look. Um, I'm wearing blazer from Zara by way of Poshmark. You would have seen this. Um, my white long sleeve knit from Naked. I have my white linen pants also from Naked and then my old um, little slides from H&M. I'm not sure about the shoes. I'm still freaking that out. I feel like it looks a little too off with the white. The issue is there are a lot of shades of white going on. Oh, and purse is from ASOS, testing it out. Um, but yeah, I may change out the shoes. I'm not sure yet. I may do, actually, please hold. Let me swap things out. Okay, sorry about the terrible lighting. I swapped out the shoes for, hold on, my, these gold little kitten heels that I have that I'm testing out again. Um, oops, sorry, my gimbal's acting up. But yeah, I think that looks and feels a lot better. Um, and yeah, different shades of white, but I can't be bothered. I need to be warm. So this is what we're working with. All right, guys, let me, can, is that better? Okay, so I'm going to head over to Jenny's. We're meeting there first, and then we'll head over to the boat party. I think I'm just gonna vlog on my phone if I do decide to vlog. Um, but yes, I will see you later. Hi friends, it is Sunday, the next day after the boat party. Um, as you saw, I didn't really vlog that much. I just enjoyed spending time with my friends. Um, overall, it was okay. The DJ was not good at all. Um, I really think the art of DJing is being lost on these modern day DJs <laughs> because this man played the full song of every single song i mean intro to outro to the very last beat he played there was no like um vibe between songs like it was very up and down and up and down it was he did not do a good job um i didn't really have any of the food or drinks the one drink i had was okay <laughs> um and I, again, I didn't eat any of the snacks or like food that they had. Uh, it was cold, very cold. So we ended up spending most of our time in like on the lower deck inside, um, but it was fine. We still had a lot of fun catching up with our classmates who we hadn't seen in a long time. And excuse me, um, it, was, it was still a good time overall. The outfit was a hit. Um, I did test out, but I mean, by the time you see this vlog, um, it, it will have been after the wedding. I'm testing, I was testing out my gold heels for the wedding because again, I purchased the style. I was very mindful about it. I wanted something that would slip on and off easily in case I needed to. And something that had a low heel that was, or block heel that would be comfortable. And so I tested um, those heels out yesterday. I wore them for about five hours straight um, with some sitting, but most of it was standing, walking, dancing, and my feet weren't torn up. So I think I should be okay uh, for the wedding day. Um, so I'm happy about that. And then I tested out the purse as well. I think it holds a good amount of stuff. Um, so hoping that that works for my bag. I have a different bag for my sister. But anyways, um, today is Sunday, went to church. It's a little chilly today as well, um, but 
the rest of the week is looking better, which thank God. Um, but I just ran out to a few shops and I just thought I would show you what I got. Some stuff is for the wedding. Some stuff is just for me. Um, where do I want to start? Okay. So let me start off. I got some stuff from Amazon. I ended up, I ended up, um, just, having it having <laughs> I'm so tired and I don't feel well um I ended up having it shipped to the Whole Foods near me because I needed to pick up something else anyways I re-upped on my Kodak Gold 200 y'all know I love this film and I wanted um a stock for the wedding weekend and then I got some double-sided tape I'm out of mine it's the double-sided fabric tape um and this one is a different brand from what i had had previously but it's really well ranked on amazon so hoping that works and again that's for the wedding and for like personal use um and then the other thing that i had to pick up at Walmart at whole foods was I had to re-up on my, oop, hold on, let it focus on my Dirty Labs laundry detergent. You know that I'm into sustainable um, cleaning products and just living. And I've been trying this out since, was it February or March around there? And I really like it. So I just re-upped and again this is this the original fragrance the one that smells like Le Labo but it doesn't it's just cedar and bergamot um yeah I was happy that it was in store and I didn't have to pay for shipping or anything like that so that's that and then next I stopped at Target <coughs> excuse me I ended up getting I've heard good things about the breath strips and I'm trying to pack, like, think of things ahead of time because I could bring gum or like a pack of mints, but they take up a, a bit of space. And I'm just thinking about the fact that I need to bring a good number of things in my sister's purse, which is what I'm gonna have the day of mostly, um, at least before the reception. So I'm trying to pick things that are, you know, small size, but get the job done so i'm hoping that these work i'm going to test it out i haven't tried them since like they first came out as a thing so hopefully that works and it wasn't a waste of money um i ended up getting so for my hairstyle i will be again and i'm sure again by the time this comes out you will have seen the wedding vlog already i'm not sure but my hair um is going to be half 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 up half down and will require some heat styling and so i purchased the dues um play and press pre press and play system um i accidentally forgot one of the steps though this is opp the one pass press heat protectant spray and so i just picked that up at target um and i have the other i have the shampoo conditioner and the blow drying serum and then this this is the last step and then lastly i just re-upped on my regular regular lotion because it's cheapest at target um and then what else oh i so this came in a while ago but i got a pair of rothy's um i don't know if you're familiar with the brand but they are Again, a sustainable brand, they make their shoes out of uh, recycled water bottles. And honestly, I purchased these mainly because I was looking for a, sh a clinic shoe. Um, I do have my coach, um, what are they called? Loafers, but they're half a size too big and I just get annoyed. And they do hurt after a while, especially the fellow med students will know when clinic happens to be just you standing up excuse me while you're attending 
sees patients in the room. So anyways, I just wanted to get comfortable shoes and my classmate had said really good things about these. Hyatt Rita on Instagram has good things to say about these. I did my research on TikTok. The girlies love it. So I picked up a pair. So let's unbox it. Hopefully you can see. I don't know what this says. Proudly, proudly sustainable since day one. Here it is. So this is the shoe. I don't know the exact name, but it's sort of uh, not loafer, but it's, I guess the classic sneaker, like their original, one of their original styles. And here is the bottom. There's some grip to it. And I got this color. It's pretty, not nude, but you know, something that will blend in with my whatever color pant or dress I'm wearing. And so those are them. Second pair, of course. So I will be testing that out once I get back from all my festivities. But last but not least, Renee Rulo had their um, annual sale where they do 25% off. And this is when I shopped their site. And I love this, obey, hashtag obey Renee. That's what we always say. Um, and I do obey Renee because she knows what she's talking about. I re-upped on one thing and then I bought one new product which I'm excited to try. Okay. So I re-upped on my um, rapid detox cleanse, rapid response detox cleanser. You know all about this if you watched my uh, skincare video. And then, so I buy that once a year and it lasts me the whole year. Honestly, it lasts me like probably a year and a half. So I'm always like ahead of the curve, but I'm never out of stock of that stuff. Um, and that this is the only time I buy it because it's on sale. And then the new thing I bought was, or I'm testing out is the Hydra Boost. Oh, I don't know if you can, will it focus? There we go. It's the Hydra Boost Cream Serum or Hydra Boost Rescue Cream. And you guys know I love, love, love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. But this one on sale is a little bit cheaper than the Tatcha Dewey cream. And so I figured I would just try it and see. So this is what it looks like. This is her, this is Renee Rulo's uh, Loco. Hydra Crip, Hydra Crip, <laughs> cream. Let's see, ooh. It smells really nice. This is the texture shot. Hopefully it's, I don't know if it's, there we go. Nice texture shot. I'm really hoping and praying that it is nice and hydrating. It's the thickest cream she has. So we shall see. I will report back if this dethrones my Tatcha Dewey skin cream. Anyways, that is it. I do not feel that great, so I'm going to go lay down, um, drink some water, and yeah, I will see you guys later. Hi friends, happy Tuesday. I think the last time I talked with you guys, it was Sunday, and I know I'm wearing makeup, I never do. Um, I actually just finished taking photos for my residency application, and my school was offering earlier, like last month, to get your photo professionally taken, but I just wanted to be able to like be particular and change my pose and do all the things on my own leisure. And of course, I'm sure you're wondering why would you do it now um, when you're about to leave, like you have so much to do. Well, I thought it would be best that I take it now just because if I do experience heat, not heat damage, what's the new term? Um, thermal reconditioning <laughs> as a result of the hairstyle for the wedding, which I don't think there will be, but just in case I wanted um, to just 
take it beforehand while my curls are still intact. Um, and also I think I might want to keep my hair in that style or straightened, um, excuse me, for a little bit. And the application would be due like right pretty much a couple days after I come back. So just figured I'd take it now, get it out of the way. I think I got what I needed, so happy about that. But now I am going to pack for the wedding and for and I'll be there. I'll be back home um, for about a week. So figured I would have you pack with me. Um, and is there something else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's pack. OK, guys, so this is some of the bulk of the stuff. This is pretty much all stuff for like the bridesmaids um, bags. And then in there's like my dress, some of my shoes, um, bridal purse, things like that. And then over here I have my white or church ceremony dress and Thanksgiving um, dress. And I'm thinking that it might be best to um, not face track. It might be best to actually put all these in a suitcase. I was considering just taking them in the boxes, but I don't think that's the best idea. So I'm going to transfer them all into, I have a bigger suitcase, which I think I'll just dedicate to like all wedding stuff. Um, and then I'll probably also take a carry on that'll be just like clothes for the rest of the week and anything else I need. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. just gonna fill the bag so that I don't have to worry about it the other stuff then I don't have to worry about it like hanging around two pairs of just lounge pants. I have one shirt. I have shirts back in Maryland. I have one pair of pajamas, 
which this can double as a lounge pant as well. I have one sweater just in case, even though it's gonna be in the 80s, but you never know. I have my rehearsal dinner outfit, just some jeans, white tank, and then this coverall, not coverall, um, what's this called? Button up from Target. And then I have my, bring it down, I have my just running errands, getting nails done sort of stuff, um, which is just a pair of shorts and this shirt. And of course I can always just rewear my jeans as needed. So this is what I'm bringing in terms of clothes. Um, then I'm gonna pack, of course, undergarments, intimates, and then we'll move on to makeup and skincare. is on okay sorry about the audio um if it's not very good anyways it is time to pack my it is time to pack my makeup and i am very excited i got a what's this called a makeup case i have not had a real makeup makeup case ever this one's just from amazon it's the one that you see on tiktok on instagram um, when you open it up it has the mirror that lights up, which is pretty cool. Um, and then with the straps, you can adjust it so that it, you know, stands. I still have to work that out to be exactly perfect, but let's see, is that? See, that's too, anyways, I'm just gonna make it work. Anyways, um, it does come with a removable thing for to hold your brushes and inside it has the compartments that are movable and you can, um, of course, charge it for the light. So this is what my current makeup bag has looked like for years. Again, because I don't really wear makeup that much, I never really thought it necessary but lately i've just been like i need a better solution <laughs> um doing it this way has not been pleasant so let's go ahead and pack up my makeup the only new things that i um, picked up monday that i didn't show you i got a new under eye setting powder this is ri ri oh, rich peach by one size they don't have the small version which is unfortunate because i don't use that much. The one I've had for years, fermented cosmetics, is the one I was using prior. Like, it's barely even touched. So, I mean, I, I needed a new one though. That one I just didn't think was really doing anything for the under eye. And I think the shade might've been off as well. So, picked this up. And then, what else is new that I picked up? Oh, I picked up a new lip liner because at the boat party, um, my one from Juvia's Place like broke. It was one of the ones that um, twists up. It broke and then I kept twisting and nothing came up. So I was forced to buy another one and any, um, any given Sunday recommended this one. And I like it, that's what I use today. I like it. And then 
I don't think I bought anything new or different or exciting. Oh, I lie. I did just today buy a new eyebrow pencil from e.l.f. This one is just like a, <clears throat> a twist up because I have the like pen brow right now. And that's what I used today. I like the shade. Um, I think that pen one is a little too dark. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Let's get to packing. And y'all excuse the um, dirty brushes, but I needed to use them today. So I'm just going to wash them tonight or tomorrow when we get to Maryland. It's whatever, just don't judge me. Okay, let's do this. Um, I have to do this in steps. That's what they always say. However, I need to like restructure this a little bit for it to work for me. Hopefully, is that better? I think that's a better view. Yeah, I think that's better. Move it with this. So, um, I am going to, let's see, how long is this? Okay, so if I remove, <laughs> so that's that one palette. Was I, am I sitting on a palette? I have one other eyeshadow palette that I bought. I don't know why, because I needed one shade. But this, that can go in there. And maybe this setting powder. No, I don't even need that. Let's just. I used that today so that I wouldn't have to waste the other one that I actually use. So that's that. Foundation. Hmm. This is not. Okay. Foundation. If we go. I feel like I'm not maximizing this. Let's. What if we. I feel like it's going to be the same thing. Yeah. Like I want to be able to. Oh, you know what I can do? Ha ha. Okay, move this. <laughs> move this. I don't, I don't have that many palettes. So I just... Okay, there we go. Ooh, but I can't use that. Guys. <laughs> do you know what? I'll be back when I figure this out. Okay, y'all. I am back. That only took, like... 20 minutes to figure out so I had to make sure that it closed and it did and to be honest I didn't think I was actually gonna fill this up to be completely honest with you I did not think I thought I would have space and space in abundance that was not the case so anyways this is what we're looking like please stay okay I have my brushes in here I tried to separate the dirty ones from the clean ones but that's what's in there, that comes off. There wasn't space in there for my power pot. Oh, Lord. Let me use this. Uh, there wasn't space in there for my power puffs, so those I've just put in there. And let me remove this so that I can walk you through what all is in what section. Okay, so ended up just having, um, we're using two of the dividers, one here, one there in the center. So over here is my like one eyeshadow palette, another eyeshadow palette. And then in there are like eyebrow pencils and gels. I have my powders here as well. In this little section are lip stuff. And then over here, it's a hodgepodge, but the main workhorse of stuff so on top i have some lashes my mini setting spray i have my blush from sephora which i think i need to get a smaller thing because this is this is too much um, and then in here i have another lash and then a lot of this is just like base stuff so foundation concealer contour over here um and then some other stuff for lashes that I just didn't know where to fit. So 
that is my bag. And again, I cannot believe that I actually uh, filled this thing. I am like flabbergasted. <laughs> I really, truly am. But uh, yeah, one thing done. I just have to do skincare and then I'll be done, but I'm making really good progress, so. So far, so good.